T20 is not the enemy of test match cricket. The enemy of test match cricket, the times we are in. Broadcast has changed, so we are becoming a soundtrack and we, we are having to go with the rhythm of the game. So in T20 we are different, in Test Match Cricket we are different. Analytics have come into the broadcast, there's a lot more numbers that have come into the broadcast and the commercial intrusion means a fewer stories being told on the broadcast. West Indies player, when he went there, who scored 100 against India in a T20 game and in the post-match said, I hope people notice this, maybe I'll play in the T20 league somewhere and please God, the IPL. Is T20 the angry young man who's destroying Test Match Cricket as we knew it? What is the challenge before Test Match Cricket? And this came to me from my son. He said, how long are you oldies going to say that T20 is ruining Test Cricket? Uh, I said, we'll have a debate. Think about oldies out. T20 is not the enemy of Test Match Cricket. The enemy of Test Match Cricket are the times we are in. The enemy of Test Cricket is Netflix. The enemy of Test Cricket is streaming serials on. That is the, the enemy of Test Cricket is podcast. The enemy of Test Cricket is a way of life. There's Test Cricket, 50 overs cricket, 20 overs cricket, T10. And now England has the 100. Has to be over in two and a half hours because the news start after that. You have so many people got an opportunity to play. When there was only Test Cricket and there was only India playing, how many people can play for India? 11 play the game, 15 are in the squad, injuries here and there, 18. Maximum 20 people can get to play. Some of the greatest cricketers of our times went unheard because they never got an opportunity. Eight IBL teams, seven players per team, 56 reserves. 80, 85, 90 people are getting a chance to play at, at that level where earlier it was restricted to 15. Isn't that brilliant?